Dudley Wayne Kaiser murdered his estranged wife, her mother, and a college student who had the bad luck of being at home. He was given 10,000 years plus two life sentences. Yeah, two life sentences makes no sense. Ten longest prison sentences. We all want wrongdoers to get their just desserts. Occasionally, yep. the quest for justice results in a bizarrely long prison sentence. Yep. Sometimes, these punishments are handed down to ensure the criminal can never be considered for a parole. Yeah, or I'm not gonna lie. I feel like any other sentence above 100 years are kind of tweaking. Because what's the point? They're not the Avatar. They will not get another life, man. You know, just give them life. Just say life and that's it. They release. But those are obstacles that can't always be avoided. Moreover, even in that light, you might find the world's longest prison sentences to be a little extreme. All right, let's see it. The United States has more people in car... Your name is Chamoy? You're named after a condiment? There's more people incarcerated than any other country on Earth. That includes China, which has four times the population of the U.S. and its own reputation for being heavy-handed with criminal okay. prosecution. Yet All the right. world's longest prison sentence was handed down not in the U.S., but in Thailand. In 1989, Chamoy Fipyaso was given... I know what she did. She stole a lot of niggas' money by acting like she was a femboy. Come on, bruh. I figured it. In a whopping 141,078 years for, for what? For what? Corporate fraud. This white collar for corporate fraud. How much money did she steal from y'all? Did she rob the whole company? Did she steal y'all niggas' family's money too? Did she steal the country's money? What do you mean 141,000 years? She is not gonna survive there. Dinosaurs probably existed by then. What do you mean 141,000? Bro, she stole everybody's money because what? Her criminal defrauded 16,000 people in a pyramid scheme, which netted her over $2 million. In Spain, a single murder generally can only carry a 40-year sentence. Okay. However, if you happen to murder 192 people, it adds up rather quickly. Do that. So what, what stopped y'all from not getting in when he murdered 10 people? Y'all waited till my nigga went on the craziest KD ratio, huh? Y'all waited till he turned into platinum level? What are we doing, bruh? 2007, Otman El Gnawi and Jamal Zalgam were given almost 43,000 years apiece for participating in the Madrid train bombings in... So let me get this straight. They got 43,000 years and the other girl got 141,000. You're telling me losing money is worse than 192 people dying. Okay, bro. O okay, Talon. I hear y'all. Spain, which killed 192 people and injured 2,000. Emiru Suarez Trasjoras was given a slightly lesser sentence of over 34,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> bro, their lawyer had to, like, be a tomorrow's teachings actor, bro. Imagine his lawyer. Good news. We got you less than your homie. Bad news. <laughs> you still got 34,000 years. Bro, I'm breaking down. Another 18 suspects were given lesser sentences. Many sources repeatedly describe the attacks as an Al-Qaeda operation. However, okay. no direct connection between the bombers and the terrorist organization has ever been established. At that point, just give them death. Charles Scott Robinson bears the do? dubious distinction of having received the longest prison sentence in the United what did he do? Because I swear, if he murdered someone, he probably murdered two people at, at, at once because he's looking different directions. United States. In 1994, an Oklahoma court tried him for sexually assaulting six children. Life without parole was off the table, so jurors did the next best thing and recommended 5,000 years for each assault. The that is not the next best thing. The next best thing is to end him. End him. That's the next best thing. Court accepted the recommendation and further concluded the sentences would be served consecutively rather than concurrently. The result is a sentence of 30,000 years. Rob Damn, bro. You should have never touched them kids. Robinson does not have the possibility for parole, but his first opportunity won't happen until... Look, so, so y'all waited until he got a herpes infection? Y'all waited until his eyes started becoming like Fetty Wap? Like, why y'all why get him when he was young? He only has like 20 years to live anyway. Yo, guillotine this man, bro. Bring back medieval punishments. Raisin bull him. In 1993 in Oklahoma, Alan Wayne McLaurin and Darren Benelford Anderson what were sentenced do? to a total of over 6,000 years for rape, for what? sodomy, assault, burglary, robbery, and larceny. They appear. Okay, Itachi. Okay, Sasuke. Are we committing every crime in the book, Madara? What are we doing? Yo, yo, when we say things are illegal, that doesn't mean it's a checklist. These niggas' bucket lists are all illegal items you could do. They're like, uh, murder, we ain't do that one yet. Yeah, let's check that one off. Wait, sodomy? You sure you didn't do that one yet? Like, what's up?
appealed and the conviction was reversed. A second trial also found them guilty. This time, however, the jury was in an even more punitive mood. Anderson was sentenced to over 11,000 years and McLaurin received over 21,000 years, putting him on the top 10 list. Guess they should have kept their mouth shut. On Halloween in 1976, Dudley Wayne Kaiser- I already know why he got arrested because this lineup is atrocious, bro. You feel me? I don't even think- I don't even think the judge looked at what he did. Murdered his estranged wife, her mother, and a college student who had the bad luck of being at home when Kaiser arrived and shot all three. The Damn. jury deliberated less than an hour before sentencing him to death. However, Alabama later ruled death sentences to be unconstitutional, and Kaiser was granted a new trial. This time, he was given 10,000 years plus two life sentences, despite- <laughs> You see? You see that two life sentences makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, yo, I'm not gonna lie, yo, judge. For the simple fact that he grows up to be 10,050 years old, what are we gonna do then? Huh? By that time, his bones are gonna become powder, bro. Huh? What are y'all doing? Despite the lengthy sentence, he qualified for a parole consideration after serving 10 years. So far, he's been denied 10 okay. times. In 1996, Martin Bryant perpetrated the Port Arthur Massacre in Australia, which killed 35 people and wounded Damn. another 23. He was Why given he like 35 that? life sentences plus 1,035 years, all without parole. His lawyer eventually revealed Bryant had been motivated by the Dungblane School Massacre in the UK. That shooting killed the teacher, one six-year-old, and 14 five-year-olds in jail. So let me get this straight. While we're looking at news like Columbine and shit, and everyone's like, ah, man, that sucks, RIP, his ass was like, yeah, it's time to tee up, my nigga. We about to go crazy. Like, wh what? How are you looking at that as motivation? Bro, I'm sorry, what's up? In jail, Brian eagerly awaited updated death tolls from his own spree. No motive has been determined in either case. The Port Arthur massacre directly led to the enactment of strict gun control laws in Australia. Authorities initiated a buyback program which netted 643,000 firearms. Similar events occurred after Dunblane. In 2012, James Egan oh, Holmes walked into a Colorado movie theater and opened fire. He also booby-trapped his apartment with improvised explosives. Unlike most people on this list, Holmes had almost no record- You are not the Joker, why are you doing that? ...of criminal activity before the shooting. His mental state was repeatedly called into question, and for a time, he was ruled incompetent to stand trial. He pled not guilty Look by at reason his hair. of insanity, but was found guilty of- Ew! Bro, his eye socket about to pop out like this shit nigga look like this nigga look like a meme 24 counts of murder 140 counts of attempted no. murder and one count of possessing an explosive device the prosecution asked for a death sentence but holmes instead received 12 life sentences plus an additional 3318 years without parole in 2015, Billy Joe Godfrey of Missouri was found guilty of 35 counts of forcible sodomy. Despite pleading guilty, he received a life How sentence much? for guilty of 35 counts of forcible sodomy. You stuck it in 35 people? No, you're evil, bro. No, honestly, I feel like the the this is what you got to do for sodomy. Cut off their meat, cut off their lips, cut like matter of fact, yeah, just I don't know, bro, but, but make, make it painful. Make it painful, bro. Despite pleading guilty, he received a life sentence for each count. The crimes okay. occurred in the 1990s with a boy and a girl, one of which was his stepson. The crimes were not revealed until you sodomized your stepson, bro. Until the victims came forward as adults. Bobby Joe Long began as a serial rapist. He actively looked for opportunities to get inside homes, such as for sale signs and classified ads looking for repairmen. If he found a woman home alone, he would rape them. Eventually, he escalated to murder, and he changed his M.O. Now, he primarily lured prostitutes and strippers into his car, where he raped them and then either slashed their throats, bludgeoned them, or strangled them. In 1984, he was found guilty for the rape and murder of nine women and received 26 life sentences. Most Give me one good reason why this man does not deserve death penalty, huh? So apparently the arbor wasn't crazy enough. The nigga needed like he like, eh, no, nah, no, I don't feel right le le letting her go. I gotta kill her. What? Supposed to run consecutively, as well as a death sentence. He continues to sit on death row. Long as so, what was the point of the beginning? If y'all were gonna give him the death anyway, y'all are just giving them extra credit. Suspected of raping over 50 women, and Long himself implied there may be many more murder victims. Rounding out our top. Wait, is he bragging about his stats? Huh? This is an NBA stat. This is he, he Lebr Lebron James of our wording niggas. Like, what's up? 10 is David Hall. Found guilty of 55 counts of possession of child pornography, he was given the maximum sentence, 15 years for each count, for a total of- eight Bro has a 50, 
50 slash 120 KD ratio of, of, of doing weird shit to women, bro. 825 years, Hall was discovered do? after sharing images online through an account connected to his email address. Ew. For more top list, just like that. Crazy video, but anyways, YouTube, that is the longest prison sentences. Let me know which one you were most shocked about. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of, eh, yo, I think what I found crazy is the girl that actually didn't kill someone got the longest prison sentence. How did that make sense? Join us on Discord, catch all, make sure you guys subscribe. All that good stuff, man. Waxer for life. Love y'all and peace.